Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Renfield, starring Nicholas Hoot. Hoot? Hoot? I'm not, I'm not sure I'm saying it. The guy from Mad Max. You remember him. He's Renfield and uh, Nicola, Nicolas Cage is Dracula. I think this is going to be good. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 10. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So the premise is Renfield is looking for help. He's, ha he's at the end of his rope. So he goes to a group therapy session. But then also, too, Renfield uses his limited half-vampire powers to uh, save a bunch of people, feels good about himself, and then starts, like, kind of his own life. And, um, uh, and then he meets, unfortunately, Aquafina's in it. I don't know. I, I, kind of on the fence about her. She's kind of annoying to me. But I guess she's going to be the comic relief and the love interest and then uh at some point here, here he is i don't know he's fighting gangsters now he uses his powers to fight gangsters um at some point though dracula eventually discovers the uh um therapy group therapy session and then shows up and then 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 the real fun begins here's nicholas cage as dracula which come on Come on, just for that alone, I think you got to see this movie. You got to see Nick Cage as Dracula. Because he was, for those of you who don't remember, he was in a movie where he plays a crazy guy. I think he's a crazy guy who thinks he's a vampire. What was it called? Vampire's Kiss or something? Um, so this... <laughs> he looks great, too. He looks scary and hilarious. Uh, this is coming out in April. Uh, this is on the list of movies I want to see. Aquafina, not, notwithstanding, but... Um, all right, let's read the write-up. Evil doesn't span eternity without a little help. This is the modern monster tale of Dracula's loyal servant, Nicholas Holt. Uh, stars as Renfield, the tortured aide to history's most narcissistic boss, Dracula. Renfield is forced to procure his master's prey and will do his bidding no matter how debased. But now, after centuries of servitude, Renfield is ready to see if there's life outside the shadow of the Prince of Darkness, if he can only figure out how to end his codependency. So this is directed by Adam, or uh, sorry, Chris McKay, uh, who's got some good credits under his belt, The Tomorrow War and Lego Batman movie, from a screenplay by Ryan Ridley, um, who worked on Rick and Morty, maybe, I don't know. Also, uh... Rick and Morty writers went on to She-Hulk, so I don't know if that's necessarily good. But based on an original idea by The Walking Dead and Invincible creator Robert Kirkman, I guess. I guess he pitched this. Uh, Co-stars Aquafina. Again, I'm not so sure. Ben Schwartz. He's funny. And Adrian Martinez. I'm not sure who that is. Um, so it looks like... Uh, Robert Kirkman is one of the producers, too. So good on him. He's uh, expanding, make it, making new stuff. This looks decent. It looks fun. It looks funny. Um, I, I'm willing to give Aquafina a chance if this is a fun, funny movie. Um, and a lot of it seems to center on the, uh, the group therapy session, where, of course, he can't tell people who his boss really is, and then they invite him in. And, of course, you can't invite vampires in that makes you powerless and he tries to warn him but it's too late so that that's going to be a great scene right there that that feels like towards the end of the movie though so um all right so first act uh renfield has a terrible terrible life right uh you know it's been centuries he's been his servant you know he gets to do all these things but there's a there's a huge cost and now he's finally reached the end of his rope with Dracula. So one night he stumbles upon some kind of group therapy and at first he's like, nah, that's not for me. But then something happens that Dracula does that just sets him off and he's like, that's it. I'm going to group therapy. And he leaves him high and dry one night or Dracula's, you know, he's passed out for whatever reason. Um, so he goes to group therapy and it actually kind of works for him. Like he doesn't, 
He doesn't tell him any anything about Dracula, of course, but they give him tips on, well, you know, if you have a toxic boss, you got to try to separate yourself, live your life. And he kind of tries to do that. Uh, in the in the second act, he's at a, I don't know, restaurant or or bar or something, watching a show, trying to trying to relax. And somebody comes in to rob the place. And uh, he uses his uh, half vampire powers to uh, beat the robbers and kill them. Right? So then Aquafina, he meets Aquafina, who I think is a cop, and um, they form a bond. And he, of course, is still trying to keep things secret, but he tells her a little, little bit. And now, like, uh, he's kind of starting to live his life. And um, he goes back to Dracula. He's still toxic. It's it, the, he, Dracula starts to, you know, sense something's amiss here. But he manages to keep Dracula sedated or whatever he does. Late in the second act, I think what's going to happen is the gangsters that he uh, interrupted have further gang members that either target him or target wherever Dracula and him are living. So he has to protect them or he has to protect the cop. Again, he uses his Renfield powers, which he apparently has. Uh, that are pretty powerful and uh, you know manages to save the day again and then he starts making real progress right uh, and one of the scenes in the movie the therapist the group therapist guy says uh, uh, something and he's like oh if I don't feed him he'll he, he won't reach peak power or something he basically figures out well if I starve Dracula a little bit he'll be weak and then I can pull away from him and uh he he does and you can see it in the makeup see here he's kind of pale but um towards the end of the movie here he's not pale like he's he's gained back some of his color he's gained back some of his humanity but then eventually dracula is forced to come out to see what the hell's the problem this is probably the third act i'm guessing or it might be late in the second act, but he comes to the therapy meeting and they make the mistake of inviting him in, which is seems like a big giveaway. You probably shouldn't give it away that bit. That's a pretty funny bit. Um, so then maybe Dracula kills a bunch of people, or maybe maybe not. Maybe maybe they maybe they actually. I mean, it's a comedy, so it can kind of go anywhere. So. Do they kill Dracula? I don't know. Maybe they actually work with him. <laughs> Maybe they actually manage to keep Renfield, like, you know, in the the job, but they 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 kind of uh, give therapy to Dracula and it works. That would kind of be funny. I'm not sure. There's a, there's a lot that could happen here. He could kill them all, and Renfield could go back to being Renfield and. Or maybe Renfield kills Dracula, or maybe, uh, yeah, maybe the therapy, I think, could be the funniest bit. I don't know. But I definitely want to see it. It could kind of go a bunch of different places. And you gotta want it. You gotta love Nick Cage as Dracula. Come on. Who doesn't want to see Nick Cage as Dracula? <laughs> it looks like he's enjoying himself. I mean, that's the kind of role, pardon the pun, you can really sink your teeth into, right? So, yeah. I mean, vampires are always fun, and when you're when you're having uh, a movie that's comedy horror, I'm all there, right? I mean, I do the piney, so obviously. So um, this comes out April fourteenth, and uh, eh, should be a blast. I mean, it'll be the spring; people want to see these kinds of movies. Um, you know, it looks like it's got a decent cast, a funny cast, a good director. Not seeing anything woke here. Should be good to go, I think. I mean, this could be this could be the movie that turns it around for Aquafina, right? She's a comedian at heart, I think, and a rapper. Um, so I think this could be a funny film. Finally get, hopefully get comedy back on track. I mean, I'd love to see more comedies, right? You know, this does well. Hopefully, Hollywood says, you know, we got to put some comedies into the pipeline. That's what I hope, anyway. All right, so Renfield, April 14th. And that's it for me, Tony D.
and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. Don't forget we have two other videos on the other platforms that you can only see there. You can see them here. And we'll see you later with another video.